What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? It's your local lawn care daddy here, AJ with Hippie Fertilizing, and I'm about to show you something, okay? My lawn looks pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect, there's room for improvement, and I have been testing on my own lawn this product called Fiesta Weed Killer. What I'm about to show you here behind me and directly almost below me is a weed called Kalinga. If I'm saying it properly, I might be dicing it up. It's been very prevalent in lawns this year. Seems like every year we have a new dominating weed, right? Kind of like the new badass strain that come out for the year. <laughs> anyway, so you see how all that looks black, right? It's dark. That is uh, these little strands of Kalinga. And so far, it does look like the Fiesta weed killer has made an impact on it. And now I'm about to go mow my grass, see what it looks like with its first fresh cut after spraying the Kalinga and a few other weeds very heavily. It's been approximately three days now. And I even have a little bit of, this is crabgrass in here. You can tell by the strands, okay? And then the longer leaves or on there and somewhere in here I think maybe somewhere in there I got Dallas grass too don't get too confused because if you go out and buy stuff that says crabgrass killer and you really got a bunch of Dallas grass which seems to be the case a lot of times um, you're gonna destroy your whole lawn you're not gonna kill the weeds because Dallas grass is a whole another mess and then you're gonna have to pay someone a lot of money to fix it most likely okay so be careful what you go to kill and positively identify the problem whether it's weed a pest or fungus okay uh, so i'm gonna go mow this grass and then we're gonna get back to it on how this looks because that looks funky in the video right and i knew it would i intended it to be that way but so far no negative impact you see where like the area is much greener versus this dark stuff, right? Anyway, I'll be back. Peace. 